With COVID-19 cases skyrocketing, health experts continue to raise concerns ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday. As CBS students Nancy Chen tells us, there's guarded optimism about vaccines that appear to be on the way. The nation's vaccine czar says two frontrunners now in late stage testing could bring the coronavirus pandemic under control by the spring. 70% or so of the population being immunized would allow for true herd immunity to take place. That is likely to happen somewhere in the month of May. Vaccines from Pfizer, which applied for emergency use authorization Friday, and Moderna are raising hopes with tests showing they're about 95% effective. But success depends on people getting the shot. If you have a highly efficacious vaccine and only a relatively small 40-50% of the people get vaccinated, mm -hmm. you're not going to get the herd immunity you need. As almost every state battles a new COVID-19 wave, an estimated 50 million Americans plan to travel for Thanksgiving, defying the CDC's warning. You can't assume that you don't have the virus and you can't assume that the people whose home you're about to enter don't have the virus. Deb Berger flew from Chicago to San Francisco to visit her daughter for the holiday. We're going to be at her apartment and it's just the two of us. In Northern and Southern California, people were in the streets despite a 41 county overnight curfew that took effect Saturday night. I think there's too many restrictions as is. An illegal curfew, 10 o'clock curfew, we're not going to abide by it. It's ridiculous. While in Texas, the National Guard deployed to the El Paso County morgue as the area experiences a spike in hospitalizations and and deaths. Nancy Chen, CBS News. The coronavirus has killed about 1.3 million people around the world, a quarter of them in the United States.